Hi everybody, Steve from Steve's Makerspace, and today we are in P5JS looking at Sandpiles, a program that Dan Schiffman with the Coding Train made. This is sort of like Conway's Game of Life, where you give this an introductory pattern, it has some rules, uh, and then you see what happens. There are some interesting fractal patterns that emerge from this. Everything is starting at the center, but it's not required that it does that. Uh, my thinking is let's try a circle to start with or a square or a rectangle and see what sorts of patterns uh, come out of that. This is Dan Schiffman. I'll link to his video on sand piles uh, and also his original code. And he came up with his idea for sand piles by watching this number file video, which I will link to as well. But the idea is that you drop in some grains of sand in the center of the screen and then there are rules where it says, okay, if there are too many grains of sand, move one grain of sand up, one grain of sand to the side, one to that side, one down, and then look at it again. And uh, for every pixel on the screen, and you're going to continue doing that, reiterating, and moving the pixels out basically until uh, the pattern stabilizes. Now he's got, I don't know, a million, 10 million uh, grains of sand to start with, so this might never stabilize, I'm not sure. If we were to redo this with just, say, a thousand grains of sand, you'll see it stabilizes quite quickly. Let's do 10,000. So that stabilized pretty quickly. I'll be speeding up the animation for you. But if you're interested in watching what happens with the animation, you can just go to the code. And I think for some of the major examples I'm going to show to you today, I'll uh, give you the code so you can go play with it yourself. So the first thing I want to do to this, uh, first I'm going to duplicate it. Uh, file, duplicate. I want to get rid of the yellow color because uh, I don't really like it. And I believe that is this. If I put this to zero comma zero, let me see, is, is that doing that? Yes, now it's black background, very good. Then uh, I also wanna have a pause button so I can click on this and have it pause for me. So I'm gonna add at the start, let P, equal one for key for pause and then at the bottom mouse pressed key equals negative p i think that's all i need to do for the that um and then i need to put all of this is it all of the render i think we need to do the topple this is where it's actually doing the calculations so if i put all of this in an if statement if key is greater than one, then do all of this and find where the topple ends and we'll put another of those. Let's see if that worked. Uh, unexpected token open brackets. Where is that? Oh, and I need this to say function mouse pressed and it's not doing anything. Ah, if P is greater than zero. There we go. So now I can click, pause it, click, unpause it. Now let's just try adding uh, an extra spot, a, an extra place where it's going to drop the sand piles. So if I say width minus 200 uh, and height minus 200, now it should be two spots where it's dropping. There we go. Let me try putting them closer together. 50 and 50, so they're pretty close. And let's, let's add some more sand. Let's give it a pause there just to take a look. I mean, that's pretty interesting. We could also change this. This is basically uh, it's not showing us every iteration. It's showing us every 50 iterations right now. 
Uh, so I could increase this to say 200 and that would quadruple the speed. I think the rectangle will be the easiest to implement. So we've got two dots here. Instead of having two dots, we'll have a for loop. For x equals zero. So actually I need to start around 200 and go to 400. So x equals 200. Then uh, x is less than or equal to 400 x plus plus, which is just uh, add one to x. And then do all of this, and I only need one of these now, close bracket, and, and let me reduce this a little bit. So this should draw a line. Uh, actually, I need to do change this. The width, uh, divide by two plus x, Let's just say height divided by two. Let me see what that does. Cannot set property 300 of undefined. What did I do wrong? Let me just try doing X. There we go. All right, so I drew a line in the middle. This is kind of interesting. Let's just watch the line. That's kind of fascinating. It's interesting that it's forming an oval shape instead of like a, a rectangle. Okay, I think we'll just pause it there and take a look. Yeah, this is interesting. So for our rectangle, or maybe we do a square, I don't know yet. Uh, let's copy this, paste the same thing, but we're gonna have this one height at 200 and this one at 400 that should give me two lines yep okay stop that we'll copy this again and we'll switch this to y and then this will be 400 and this will be y except if i do that it's going to place Instead of 10,000 at the 200, 200 spot, it's gonna place 20,000 at the 200, 200 spot. So I think I'll make this 201 and this 399. And I believe that fixes that problem. So let's copy this. And so this one will be 200 and this one will be 400. I think that works. Let's try that. Very good, we have a square. All right, let's watch that for a bit. It's sort of pulsing in and out, which is fascinating. There's a nice diamond shape in the center. And again, it's forming a circle this time. Let's give it a pause and take a look. Yep, quite interesting. Let's try, instead of a square, we'll make a rectangle. So I'll switch this to 150 and 450. This one as well, this to 150, this to 450. Let's see if that works. Yep. I think this is more interesting than the square. Ooh, pretty. Let's pause it there. Take a look. Very nice. Now I want to do a circle. And a circle is more challenging. So I have over here how to draw a circle. Um, so that this is a separate sketch. So if I click draw, it draws a circle. I don't think I'll go through all the math, but basically this is the formula. Let X equal R times cosine angle. So I uh, have to have an angle, uh, calculating the cosine of the angle, multiplying that by the radius of the circle, 
in order to come up with x and the same thing with y except y is the sine of the angle and there's this for loop and so the for loop is starting off on the right hand side over here uh, it goes around clockwise and draws each pixel one at a time uh, changes the angle draws a pixel change the angle draw a pixel so I can use the same idea to drop in my thousands of pixels at each location around this circle. Let me just copy this code and we'll put it in here. Let me leave my sand piles. The sand piles is gonna be at X and Y. And we're probably, let's just start with like 100 to start with. But R equal 100 and run that and see if that works cannot set property 9.98 ah i'm gonna have to round it doesn't like um basically i've got an infinite decimal here and it doesn't like infinite decimals so let's try round x comma nine so it rounds to nine decimals hmm Cannot set property 100 of undefined. Well, that's interesting. Does this need to be with divide by two or plus X? Aha, that's the deal. And then height divide by two plus Y comma nine. I think I need the nine. Let me try taking those out. Maybe it was just the width. Oh, that works. Let's try upping this to, say, 10,000. So each point along the circle is getting 10,000 grains of sand, and then we let it go. Now I'm noticing that this is not uniform. There's, yeah, there's definitely some things that are not uniform about this. It may be the rounding. Uh, it could also be something about the way I'm doing the pi. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm adding 0.1, which is just an arbitrary number. It could be that pi is not divisible by 0.1 very well, and so that it's going around uh, dropping the sand, and what by the time it comes around to the end of the circle, it's either not dropping enough sand or it's dropping too much sand. So the right-hand side is different from all the other parts of the circle. So let's try to fix that. Um, instead of 0.1, let's do pi times two divided by 360, which I believe will do exactly 360 points all the way around. Let's try that. So far that looks more uniform. Let's give it a pause, take a close look and that side versus this side Do those two sides look the same i think they look the same so good we fixed that problem i've got this working pretty well so i'm going to leave it here i will provide links to the rectangle and the circle solution uh, as well as the original you can go play with those if you like you may need to be signed in to the P5JS website uh, with a free login in order to make changes to the variables. Uh, I'm not sure about that, but I think so. If you like this video, you can give it a like, consider subscribing to the channel, ring the bell for notifications. Comments are always welcome. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye now. Steve's Makerspace.